matter, energy, and time matter. What is the difference between matter and antimatter? Why do they explode upon contact? The universe is made up of four basic quote unquote components space, matter, energy, time, or SMET for short. Furthermore, matter can be subdivided into two types matter and antimatter. What is the basic building block, the basic element of the universe, or SMET as we called it? Let's call this theoretical basic building block of SMET, SMETON. What is this SMETON like? How should it behave? Since space matter energy, time, are inseparable, it must contain all of the above. Number one, it moves all the time at the same speed, the speed of light, C. Number two, it carries its own space quantum with it. Number three, it has no mass. So in fact, this meton is pure energy. How can we make from smeton matter and antimatter? How can the same smeton form both matter and antimatter? If a smeton was alone in its own universe, it would move along a straight linear path. But since the smeton is not alone, since it is part of a universe filled with an infinite number of other smetons, most of the time it does not move along a straight linear path. Some smetons move in groups of various sizes in more or less parallel paths. Depending on the size of these groups and on the arrangement of smetons within, we refer to them as electromagnetic radiation. Different groups of smetons have different wavelengths. Other, larger groups of smetons, due to mutual attraction, move around each other. These larger groups of smetons moving around each other in orbital paths, still move at the same basic speed of light, C, but no longer along a straight path. Thus, from the outside, they appear to be stationary. These apparently stationary groups of smetons form sub subatomic particles and even larger groups of smetons form atoms. The basic smeton and groups of smetons can form both matter and antimatter. What is the difference between the two? What is the difference between matter and antimatter? They are both made of the same smetons. The only difference between them is that their smetons move in opposite directions, in opposite orbits. If we take two wheels moving in the opposite directions and put them next to each other, they will stop. Their circular motions will cancel each other. If we put an atom of matter and antimatter next to each other, the orbital paths of the smetons will be annulled. When their orbits cancel each other, 
The ever-moving smetons have only one choice, one way to go. Straight. Straight-moving smetons are energy. In other words, matter and antimatter change into energy, or that means into straight-moving smetons. Mass. We've covered matter, energy, antimatter, but what is mass? Why matter appears to have mass, while the building blocks of matter, energy, appear to have no mass? Since metons, forming mass, move in various elliptical circular orbits as op opposed to smetons forming energy, the reason to the resistance to the change of momentum, mass, must be based on the same principle as gyroscope. In other words, atoms behave as tiny gyroscopes and appear to have mass. Please visit the website for more information.